I was shooting a movie called Cadillac Man, which Robin Williams and Tim Robbins, and my friend Fran Drescher, who's still a very dear friend to this day. Um, when I showed up at work and said, because I was leaving, I would shoot during the week in New York City and then fly to North Carolina on the weekends and we would do pre-production and getting up to speed, a little bit of shooting, um, and then I would fly back. And then I did this for a couple of weeks while I was finishing up Cadillac Man and starting Ninja yeah. Turtles. Somebody was saying, so what are you leaving to, to go shoot? And I said, oh, I'm shooting this movie, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which at the time was sometimes hard to say because it sounded like some weird slasher, strange movie or, you know, like, huh, what are you shooting? Um, and Robin was so excited about it because he had been collecting. He had the very first comic book and he was an ardent fan. And so he was thrilled. And it was really nice because then it was like, wow, you, you know this movie? Good. I mean, it, t it gave credibility for me to say, okay, so, okay, seal of approval? Good. Good, going forward. And then he brought his um, wife and son to the premiere, which was really very sweet. I don't know, because I wanted to redecorate. You know, a couple throw pillows, a TV news reporter. What do you think? Hmm. It was a, the day that, that we were doing the scene where I wake up and there's splinter in my face. I remember Steve had a really specific way that he wanted me to do that. It was some like high pitched thing that he, that for me wasn't how I would do it. And I remember sort of wrestling with how to do that, how to make that feel good. And then out of the corner of my eye, there's Jim Henson on the set. And all I want to do is like go over and say, oh, Mr. Henson, I'm, you know. I grew up with Sesame Street, you know, it's a big deal. And there was a lot to reconcile in those moments, trying to do what the director really wanted. Like, wow, coolest guy standing over there, jumping up and down on the couch with, you know, a lot going on. So that, I remember being very challenging. Why don't I ever dream of Harrison Ford? 